stay there. Pork spare ribs come from the bottom section just above the belly. They are meaty and succulent, and when they're smoked low and slow, they are delicious. So the first thing you need to do is wash these well with running cold water and dry them with kitchen paper toweling. So once they're dried, start with the ribs upside down. We need to remove this silver skin. So just with a, a little knife, just make a little nick like so. A little bit of kitchen paper toweling. Just grab that silver skin and just drag it off. We need to put a nice dry rub on that. So over here is a mixture. This is my Manfa's, um dry rub, which is basically spices, dark brown sugar, salt and pepper. So sprinkle that on. Turn it over and do the other side. Place the next one across and do the same. The ribs now need to be wrapped up. So a little bit of cling film onto a tray and then place the ribs on top of each other is fine. And once they're on, what we need to do is wrap those up and place those in the fridge four hours, but preferably overnight. So the 4K is on and the temperature is quite crucial. Look at this. So we've got the sitting between 110 and 120 Celsius, about 225 to 250 Fahrenheit. We have a little bit of smoke going there and the rack is ready for the spare ribs. The spare ribs have been pulled out of the fridge. They've been in the fridge for 24 hours. And then I took them out for about one hour to come up to room temperature. And what we've got now is a nice paste from that, uh, from that dry mantras rub. I'm gonna put those in and then give them another little coating in the 4K. Open the vent, open the 4K, and I have a rib rack, which is kind of handy. I can put all four of those into the 4K. Like so. And before we shut it, a little extra of that dry rub over all those ribs. Shut it, it's ready. It's a good idea to give this a little mist spray with a vinegar uh, and water. This one actually is maple syrup and bourbon. Great flavor, use whatever you like. It's time to give this a little spray. Adds moisture and adds delicious flavor. So let's check out the spare ribs. Um, well, oh, smell that. Mm. Well, they've had three hours and um, I've got to say they smell and look quite amazing and uh, just being caressed by a little bit of gentle smoke and um, oh, get out of here holy mother just super duper going through all right I look like dinner is sorted look at the color looks amazing okay what I'm gonna do Gonna take those out and let them sit and rest for just a, a little while. If I can hold back that much. There's one of the ribs, and uh, it's just cooled down enough now. Let's just um, drag one of those out. Well, that didn't take much, and we'll just cut it through there. And um, still got some nice colour there, but that. That is an amazing rib. I'm really happy with that. 10 out of 10.